Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Project Zeus and today I have a little short but kind of cool little video that I wanted to share with you guys. Now, recently, as you guys know, Noah J and the Zombros both did an exclusive little like interview with Jason Blundell himself. And in that interview, they actually asked a question about a map that Mm, it's just say it's not the best map out of all the maps we've been given in Call of Duty Zombies. But, neither to say, this was kind of the time where a few people thought Zombies was dying because, like, you know, it had been so long since we, like, Black Ops 1. And Treyarch really wanted to try something new. You know, they really wanted to be innovative. So, they made this map called Transit. And what Jason Blondell actually confirmed is that there was a lot more other ways Transit was going to be executed. I'm talking like over five other game modes that just didn't make it into the final copy of the game. Now, if it was made on next gen, we probably would have those game modes, but back then, guys, as you know, the 360 was very limited in the PS4. The old consoles last gen was very limited to the ways, like, the things you could do. And he actually said that there's a couple, there's two other modes in, um, Black Ops 2 that we have at the moment called Grief, Survival, and we also have Turned. Is it Turned? I'm pretty sure it's Turned, yeah. So those are the game modes we had on Transit, guys. Now, if you remember, there's this meat on Grief that you could kind of, like, get and you could throw. And that was actually from another mode that Jason Blundell said that they were trying to make for the game. And basically, what you would have to do is you'd get the meat and you'd have to chuck it to an area and then the other people would try and steal it from you, but whichever team would get it to the, like, I don't know, he said like an area, he didn't say what it was, just an area. So it'd basically be like, capture the flag on zombies, guys. Now, I can't see it having too much, like, replayability, but that would have been a neat little thing, just to, you know, play with your buddies on the weekend or something like that. And another one was actually, like, a hide-and-seek sort of mood, he said, like, you would go to one area and you had to hold this area down. I don't you know, there was just a bunch of random like game modes that were supposed to be added into game. But what actually ended up happening, guys, is that all of these other game modes, they had survival down, transit down, uh, what did they have? And they had grief down. And then what they said was that all these other game modes are only halfway through each of development. And instead of like giving us like quantity but less quality they gave us quality but less quantity <laughs> fucking hell, that was a mouthful but basically what happened is they just chucked those other game modes out because they didn't want to give it them because they wouldn't be as good as compared to other zombie ones and that's why transit isn't a map that plays very well when it comes to good old-fashioned survival because actually if you think about it it does make sense you've got like you've got what have you got? You've got the diner, the bus depot, town, farm, and the power place. You've got all of these places around the map that could be like places you have to take stuff and that's why you have all this running to do and that's where the bus comes into it. And it would be a, a neat little map for it. But that's why it actually didn't turn out being the best survival map for zombies because I mean it was engineered, it was just over engineered for its time because you know we, we have the best developers, Treks are the best developers and they wanted to give us more but in DLC 1 we actually saw proof of that with Turned like another game mode that they gave us which I think was one of the other game modes that was more developed than those and basically in this there would be survivors that would have guns and it would be like reverse gun game you know you'd have a cult and then you'd get a better gun and then a better gun but then you could play as a zombie and whoever got the person would then become like you know another survivor and there's only one survivor and it was a really cool little neat thing to play with your friends and all in all I think that's good but you know what that's the reason transit just wasn't the best map it had potential guys and like I hate, I hate me for saying it I really don't care but I reckon if they remastered transit in, I don't think they'd do it the next game. I think if they were going to do it like again, I think they'd wait till the next trap game out of the like the next trap game coming up next year because, like, who like, who knows what technology is going to be like? We've already got the Xbox One X, which has been confirmed at E3, and uh, the multiplayer trailer for World at War Two was insane. So who knows what technology is going to be like in the next two years? So if it happens, I reckon it'll be them, and as long as and as well as Mother of the Dead. 
But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this short little, like, news video. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I've been Project Zeus. Subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, guys.